Good morning and welcome to my very first show on my own at Sewing Street. I'm very nervous, I'm hoping I get this right. So I am John Cole Morgan. Some of you may have watched me with the amazing Vicky last Sunday. Um, I'm a quilter. I've been doing it for about five or six years. I'm addicted to all things fabric. Can't go past them without stroking them. So I have to just say, sorry, this, uh, you know what, we're all the same. We all look at amazing products and think, oh, what's that? And we get distracted. So I'm sorry, that happens a lot with me. I have to say an amazing, huge thank you to all of you who have left the most incredible feedback. You couldn't make somebody more welcome. And I'm so grateful for every word. It was really, really kind of you to take the time. And I have read all of them. And I'm very, very, very pleased that I've been able to get your confidence in this way. And I'm hoping I'm not going to let you down in any way. But keep me going with the feedback. It's so, so lovely to hear from you. So we, we are here at Sewing Street today. And we have got loads of amazing products, as you've seen a little bit of the fabric. And this one. And But my favorite. Now, as we all know, every Friday, Hannah, can I open this? No problem at all. So this is a new product from Tilda and it's a charm pack. Now I've not seen this before and the reason being is because it's Tilda 2020. And we all know how a good charm pack can make a project absolutely so perfect. But in some projects when you, when you buy a charm pack you end up with some of you'll end up with one or two of one or one of the other and the one that you want you don't have enough of and of course every friday jenny doan from missouri style quilt company releases all of her pre-cut based tutorials and everybody who's in the quilting world knows about her and these projects that she does work really well with these pre-cuts and finding a really amazing pre-cut like this oh i just absolutely love this and I'm hoping Hannah's not going to mind. I'm going to lay these all out so you can see. Um, oh, I've got to, I can't do it yet. I've got to keep them going. They're just so, so cute. So at the moment, the way that you can buy from us, um, many of you will know that we've got a UK-based call centre. So you can call in and you can chat to the person about exactly what the product is. You've got any questions about anything, you can talk to them. And they're all here in the UK, so it's very, very local. You can... And then obviously the website has everything as well. And the website is www.sewingstreet.com. Most of the details are there and anything that you don't have on there or you have any questions about, just phone through to this, um, the customer care line and they will be happy to help you in any way they can. What many of you have used our Facebook page. We've got Sewing Street TV as well as the Sewing Street fans page. Both of those groups are monitored all day and are looked at and you'll see me commenting when I can and when I see things and when I can answer a question I do. Um, but anything you've got that you can't get answered by the customer care line or if you just want to say hello or show us a project that you're doing with the products, pop them on the Facebook page because it's nice to see what everybody's doing because each project that you do is something different to somebody else would done and you get inspired by the two so it's a bit of a synergy between the way that we do things there. So Instagram as well, um, I think the handle is at Sewing Street, so you can go on there as well. I've taken this Instagram over today, which is a little daunting. Um, so hopefully I keep you entertained with that, and I'm going to an event later on this afternoon, so I'm gonna keep that going to keep all things quilty and sewy and fabricy, because we all like a good stroke of good fabric. And yeah, so that's where we, that's how you can get hold of us and everything that you want to buy today. If you decide you see something now that you want to buy and there's $3.95 for postage, but if you decide later in the day, actually, I remember that pair of scissors that I didn't get and I've decided I'm going to get them, you only pay the postage once during the day. You can do that on the website or with the call centre. So if you call the call centre later in the day and you've had a long chat with a person as and when, you can do it later in the day and it's only one PNP. So I think that's how you can get everything. A little bit more about me that some of you may have missed the show on Sunday. I um, have done a bit of proper telly, for the want of a better word, of Kirsty home Homemade Makes in 2018. And I was very lucky to take part in the wonderful world of crafting on Channel 5 last year. And if anybody saw that, I got to spend a day with the Kay Facet and Brandon Mabley. Um, teaching me about colour and scale and how you look at fabric in a different way because I took designs there and as a new designer 
it's quite hard to kind of wrap your head around because you think you're so exciting and wonderful and done this amazing design. But when somebody who's been in their business for so long takes one look at it and he just said, you need to just look, use a little bit more exciting colors, a little bit more on scale, it just completely changed everything. So that's a bit about me. Um, I'm addicted to fabric as much as any of you are, and probably a little bit more. Um, so the problem with this is, is that I just want to pick them all up and put them in my bag and take them home. But my husband has allowed me one fat quarter bundle a month because I have 16,000 meters of fabric already and my stash definitely exceeds my lifespan. So I think I need to listen to that and just buy what I really, really love. And the great thing is, is that I can do this whole debate thing because there's a lot more fabric in there than there is in this. So I'm thinking that if I got two of these charm packs, that's equivalent of half a layer cake. And as you know, there are thousands of different YouTube tutorials, projects, patterns. We're gonna be bringing patterns to you in the future as well to be able to show you how to use different products and different pre-cuts as well. So these, I'm going to start on these. They're brand new today. How amazing. You've got a brand new presenter and a brand new fabric. And this is the Happy Camper Tilda 2020 range. Um, I'm still learning. There we go. And then we're going to show these. And I'm just going to start unpacking these as we go. because, And again, on each of the fabrics, you get two of them with the majority of charm packs that you buy. You only end up with the one that you love most, you always end up with one of. And the one that you're not quite so fond of, because in every charm pack, there's one of those. Oh, we've got a message on Facebook already. Lynn, thank you very much. So Lynn is saying, good morning, John. So lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Okay. It's nice to see you, Lynn. Thank you. I'm not very good at the whole camera thing yet, and I'm learning from the lovely producer and, and then next door saying, that camera, that camera. Sorry. So bear with me. I am here. <laughs> but these fabrics and even that, a dot and a stripe together and across, how gorgeous. And that would go really, and the great thing with a charm pack is they're all color coordinated. You don't need to work in any way. You don't need to work to sort of figure out what a coordinating color is. And they just go so, so beautiful. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's very cute. That is really cute. And there's so much movement in these fabrics as well. Oh, this dot's even better. This almost looks like a bit of a printed gingham with dots on it. It's so cute. And the yellow and the blue, it's such a gorgeous combination. I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Oh, that's very sweet. But the great thing with the Tilda Charm Packs is obviously these colors will merge really beautifully with the other ranges in the range. Sorry, I, I like making sure they're the right way round for you. The great thing with this is if you're making um, an English paper piecing project, you can see yourself actually fussy cutting out all of these different things. This one would work really, really well, the sort of um, fleur de lis style. Was that more of a raindrop? You could fussy cut that out and you'd have a bit more movement because you could keep the full raindrop, but you've got little swirly whirly bits around the corner. And of course, you know, swirly whirly bits is all a technical term. All of us quilters know. <laughs> And of course, you've got a bit of hydrangeas. But what I love about that is what we, everything I look at, I always think of quilting. And you can see the sort of echo pattern on the outside of the hydrangea. When you do quilting and you do echo quilting, you would do the lines there, which is really, really cute. I love that. I think that's really lovely. So you can see the lines. I'm going to find a lovely sharp sticky thing. I can't stop looking at this. And if you can see over here what I mean, you can see you've got the, the shape there, and I'm doing this all backwards and back to front. You can see the stitching. If you did that, the echo quilting on it, there are so many quilters who do that. I'm terrible at it, but I'm still practicing. And the only way that you actually get through it is that you actually just keep practicing. So just going around the shapes and things, it's a nice way of doing it. And if you're gonna do echo quilting, that's actually quite a nice way to do it because you can just follow the lines. Somebody's done the hard work for you. And that's really sweet as well. And I don't even think we're halfway through on all of these different colors. They're so cute. 
But doesn't it look so different in the different colors? So a couple of months ago, I got a pattern out. It was a really lovely pattern. And what it was is that you could have, I'm just going to pop that over there. What you did is you took different charm squares and you laid them out and you made them into a bag. Because we're all trying to be a bit more eco and making bags and things, you know, obviously with Debbie Shaw and her sur Monday surgery. Oh, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's so good. Isn't she so talented? Maybe one day I'll be like that. But you can see just laying these out, I'm just trying to keep some semblance of the background colors. So you can see I've done the blues there, the pinks there, the light yellows and the mustards. You can just see how that flows really beautifully there. I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking, as I look at the preview thing, this is a slightly different color on camera. Sorry about that, but obviously we're, everything's still new. We're only two weeks in. Bear with us, we will get there. And it's great because when you see things like this, there's a long list of things that people are doing. We're gonna get everything back up and running. So this is a bit more of a mustardy color than what's showing on your screen. The background color is a bit more, oh, that shows really beautifully. That's much, much more. Just on the overhead, the colors are slightly different. So you can see then on how we're doing it. But then just, I'm trying not to get these confused. No, I haven't done that bundle. But just laying these all out, you can see what a beautiful pattern that is. And you can see that these just work so beautifully. Just even if you just wanted to do a very simple, easy beginner project, just sew the charm squares together. But my top tip, because of course, I am an absolute lazy quilter on every level. I'm gonna show you my top tip if you do decide to do this is just, I'm gonna just set this up, give me three seconds. So what you do, what you do is you sew these together as normal because as beginners, the quarter inch seam, it is a bit of a nightmare. And even when we've been doing it for a little bit longer, we get a little lazy and our quarter inch veers off. Doing it this way where you're offsetting the middle line, no one's gonna notice. So all you do, as long as these lines here, are roughly in line, you just take half of that pink. Oh, look, and because I've got two, I can show you. And you just cut them off there and it just looks so beautiful. And by doing that, you've got a really sweet project and not one person's gonna be able to tell you, oh, your quarter inch is out or this, that and thing. And even because I think we're our own worst critics, every quilt that we ever make, we're like, this quilt's terrible because look, that seam doesn't match and that doesn't match and this doesn't match. We all do it. I do it more than most, I'm sure. But doing things like this, it's offsets. It's a tiny little cheat and you can do it. And if you bought a few of these, you could actually make a really big quilt. And you could then, and also if you offset them, nothing's gonna be wrong with it. It's great. So I think this is, um, but for me, it's about the fabric being pretty and being lovely because my lovely husband wants to make sure that everything in the house is pretty. And if it's not pretty, it mustn't come in the house. So, well, he's stuck with me. So there we go. <laughs> and then we've got more of these fabrics coming out and they're just so sweet. Look at these, I've got little bees on it. Really cute little bees and you've got the pots. So if, again, if you're doing an EPP project and you're wanting to fussy cut out, that would just be beautiful. Oh, I'm, si I'm hearing from Hannah now that, that a lot of you have these in your baskets. So thank you for that. But we, but again, if you're not aware, just make sure that if you do want it and you're worried about losing it, if you haven't checked out, it's not yours yet. So if we go down to limited stock, unfortunately it might be taken out of your basket by somebody else. Oh, we have another message from Elizabeth. Hello. Hello, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth is saying that the sun is shining and it's a wonderful day. Oh, that's so sweet. And I'm here to brighten your days. Oh, you are so kind, Elizabeth. And she's saying, enjoy your morning. Lovely to see you. Well, Elizabeth, I can't see you, but I'm really feeling your love. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Are you enjoying these? I'm loving these. 
they're saying that it's very sunny and cold uh, where she is, but for here, it's been a gorgeously sunny morning. I'm not used to early mornings, so for me, it was a gorgeous drive in, coming in from Hertfordshire, and the views, oh, it was so beautiful watching the sunrise. And the days are getting a little bit longer, which is great, isn't it? Now, I'm gonna get this right if it kills me. There we go, look at that. And the lovely, t and, and this one, obviously being slightly different to that one, but they still flow so beautifully. And sometimes when we buy spots and stripes fabric, they go, they make your head hurt. But these ones are so well done because you don't have that sort of strobing effect on your, on your brain. But I just, I think these are really cute. And again, more of this echo printing and then more in a different fabric, different culling. And how are we not finished yet? It feels like it's going on forever. And these are 40 pieces of these which is really good. So you can do a trip, if you can get the whole collection in, you could do eight by five all the way along. It's just so good. And of course, being two of each color, it means that you'll end up with, uh, you'll always be able to do, so let's say for example, you're doing a bag. I'm just surreptitiously laying these out however I want to. And I'm a bit of, we, we always fiddle with the layouts and things. So I'm gonna get these a little bit in, there we go. But what's great is if you now wanted to make a bag, oh, and we've got the, finally at the last piece with a little bit of a green one, which is really pretty. But I don't, can you zoom in a little bit there? Because you can see the tiny little bees. Look at that. I'm just hearing from Hannah now, there are less than 20 of these charm packs available. So if you are interested in getting one, remember if you haven't checked out, it's not yours yet and you, and remember, what is laid out on the desk here, and we, it's a huge amount here. So these are the 20 of them, but that's only one side. So when I made my bag, I wanted to make sure, um, I like doing this, so of course, uh, being a bulk buyer, I made sure that I bought several of these. Don't tell Andrew. And what I did was, I laid them out exactly like this, and of course, because I wanted my bag to be symmetrical, I then wanted to make sure I had the other side. Here, you don't need to go and buy that. So Andrew's gonna be really annoyed I didn't buy this and save money. Because here, you've got this beautifully laid out, and then on the other side, you can have the exact same way of laying it out with the bundles that we haven't even used. And you can see, this is all that's left. And this is only $16.99 for the day, um, and the PNP is $3.95 all day. So if you, we all know about the PNP now, hopefully. And you can then do one PNP all day, whatever you're checking out, so I'm hoping, I'm sorry, I just, I can't stop stroking it. Isn't this so cute? So, Hannah, I hope I can do this next, but now, but make sure that if you do want the charm packs that you do check out because they are now, at, we're at 20 odd left over. So if you do want them, make sure that you don't leave them behind. So I've, I'm gonna, Hannah, you'll make sure you let me know how the charm packs are going. I don't want people to lose out on them. Fabulous. Brilliant. So here, when I, tr when I go and do my quilting visits to people and everything, I am always looking for a thread bin. And this has got to be the cutest little thread bin I have ever seen. It's even got tiny little bob bobbles on the end of it, it's got a little handle, but my favourite bit is it's got a little lid. And we're always looking for a little baby pin cushion. So if we then, you can see you've got a tiny little pin cushion over here. You've got a little place to put your wool, your wool, your thread, gosh, look at me. And then you've got a beautiful little tape measure here. We all need to, always losing our tape measures when we're looking for things. And I was using the scissors as a little pointy device earlier, but look how ornate the scissors are as well. They're just so sweet. And all of that is $11.99. And they are really limited editions on these. It's only ever been on once before, and it was so popular, there are only nine left. So Hannah showed me this, and I looked at that, and I would not let it go. And that's the, that's the reason it's on the show, because I took it from the office upstairs, clutching it and cuddling it and holding it, and told Hannah that we were now putting this on the air, because how cute is that? Oh, I can't. 
You know, of course, it's Mother's Day coming up. We're all looking for lovely things to buy mum. And all of us want to buy things that we know she's going to use. You don't want her having it and then putting it on a shelf and never using it. This, I'm telling you now, would go to every sewing day that she does. It looks so I can't get enough of it. It is just so cute. And that little pumpkin. I'm um, absolutely, is it a, do you think it's a tomato? Yeah. Oh, it is a tomato because of the top. Oh. So Hannah's telling me now that there's a whole tradition of why tomatoes are pin cushions. Oh, Debbie told her that tomatoes were very valuable and that's why they were used as pin cushions. Because they were so expensive at one point, people used to make their pin cushions out of tomatoes because they thought they would be, well, they were quite valuable at the time and it was just sort of a homage to them. Isn't that just wonderful? But anyway, if nothing else, it's very cute to look at. Oh, we've got less than five left now. So if you want those, don't forget to check out because you're gonna get run out of those. So now I think we should look at the Tilda Fat Quarters and of course I get to choose which ones and oh, I'm going to do the Lazy Days because this is so adorable. So at the moment the code for this is Lima Zulu Zulu Whiskey 59 and if you want to read that on yourself you're most welcome because that's L Z Z W 59. So I know that there were a few issues with the website yesterday. If you're having any issues with the website today, that is the code that you type into the search bar because the website is up and running, it is working. Just obviously we're brand new, it's two weeks. Everybody's working so hard to get everything done. They're building the website at the same time. So the website is www.sewingstreet.com. And if there is a search bar, so if you aren't able to see the picture or you don't see what you're looking for, that doesn't mean it's not available. Just do the little search on that reference number and that's definitely how you're gonna find it for sure. And you don't wanna lose out on these. So I'm just gonna pack these away because I don't want to distract you all with all of these. And if nothing else, I get to touch them all again and play with them all again. But the great thing with this is they feel so lovely. Do you think they'd notice if I just put the odd one in my pocket? Oh, they've got security watching me. They're telling me now. <laughs> but at that price, I'd happily buy them. It's silly not, not to. And besides, Andrew will tell me I'm saving money again. So that's great. Oh, wow. So this one is called the Lazy Days Collection by T Tilda. And this is a lilac pattern. And what's really interesting here, if you look on the back there with the clouds, you can see that they've got all these quilting lines again. You remember I spoke very briefly about the echo lines. Um, you can see then if you wanted to practice your free motion quilting, they've already got them on the lines, the, the lines already drawn for you. So if you wanted to practice, you can then actually just go around and stitch along those lines. But it's just such a beautiful feel to these fabrics. Anybody who's a quilter knows good fabric and you go and you feel these at shows and you know which ones are really lovely and which ones you not prepared to pay the... Is that all it is? Yeah. Hannah, that can't be right. It is? That is the price? I can't believe that. That is a, that's three pounds a fat quarter. Gosh, the tilde range here is really... Well, you know when you go to the Festival of Quilts, any fat quarters that are three pounds each, they're just, you, you don't really get them because everybody has nabbed them all up, especially when the fabric is such good quality and such beautiful colors. And look at the detailing on it. And the feel is so lovely as well. So that's the second one. And you've got five fabrics here. And the great thing is you can tell all of, the, oh, wow. This one is beautiful. Oh, you know what this fabric is? Oh gosh, look at that. That is so beautiful. 
Now, as you all know, once the fabric's gone, it's gone. And these are obviously, they only print these the once. So if you don't get these now, you might not ever be able to get them because you know what it's like. You need, you see it and you think, oh, I'll just have a think about that. And then it's gone and you regret it. And I know about, I don't know about you, but for myself, I always regret the fabric I've left behind. Not that there's been that much, to be fair. <laughs> Poor Andrew. <laughs> But just you can see how beautifully these purples and lilacs all lead, uh, lead into each other in this range. And they're just so cute. And again, because I having watched Debbie on the show a few times now, I'm so keen to start a bag. And that would be beautiful as a bag. I know that Debbie is so talented. I want to make, I'm now determined to give it a go. They will be nothing like Debbie's. But they, I'm going to give it a go, if nothing else. So, well, the thing is, I've got so much fabric that I've, I've collected over the years. I'm thinking of places to put them. So maybe if I made the bags, I could store the fabric in the bags. <laughs> and, and then Andrew could never say I'm not using the fabric. But look at that design. That's almost like a, oh, it actually looks like pins. You know, you get those pins that you buy, which are in those little wheels. That is really cute. I feel like I've got it the wrong way round, so I'm just going to turn that the other way. But it doesn't matter either way that you do. Oh, it's a, it could be a little roulette wheel. Either way, whatever it is, they are really cute. And I'm going to just move these up so you can see them all together. Hopefully I'll get it in the overhead. I'm trying something new. Don't know if it'll work. And just remember, there may be a slight color difference on our overhead to what's on our normal camera. But just look how beautiful they go together. And you've got all the different scales of print here. So if you're looking, and I keep using my scissors from that beautiful box. If you wanted a slightly smaller scale, you've got that. But if you wanted a slightly larger scale here, that would be amazing. And on this one, I'm also just thinking if you're doing a big hexagon or a big EPP, oh, that would look so beautiful because it's got a little bit of a void in the middle and you could do some embroidery on that. And then you've got the outside, which is just so pretty. Oh, it's just very, very cute. I can't, every time I turn around, I look at this. This is now apparently about to sell out. So if any of you have it in your basket, check out, make sure you grab it because until it's, until it's paid for, it's not yours. And we are getting very, very low on stock on this one. And to remember that you've got all day P and P of 3.99, 3.95. Sorry, I will get that right. 3.95. Even better. Yes, I'm trying to charge you four P more. Can't have that. But my absolute favourite cutest little thing is, we all love a little bit of a leopard print. Absolutely love this leopard print. And the, also the good thing is you've got a place to put them because the number of times I've had a pair of scissors, I put them in my sewing bag and the next thing I'm carrying it along and there's this little scratch in my leg. The scissors have come through the bag. So I don't make very good bags clearly that these things keep flying through the bag. But this is great because it's all protected and you can't push that through and it's just so cute. And the number of times I lose the scissors, they're now attached to something. So I'm not going to lose them because you're going to see this beautiful fabric everywhere you go. So for this one, we've got a bit of a price comparison for you, which I think is really good. Now I'm going to try and see if I can remember the iPad code, which I have. And the great thing is, now we all know John Lewis, you know, excuse me, ma'am, John Lewis. Very good value, very good products. And we have a price match here. So for us, we are selling this one today at, oh, oh, that's a very clever way of doing it. So I'm gonna show you on the John Lewis website. So I'm gonna hold that where hopefully I'm not gonna get any glare. And you can see that that's six pounds 50. It's the, you can see there, six pounds 50, if I use my, six pounds 50 for the Groves Anna, and you can see it's exactly the same product. Exactly the same product. Six pounds 50 on John Lewis, and how much have we got it for? 3.99. How on earth could you not be interested in doing that? You are saving so much there, and of course, 
you're still getting to know us. We're a new channel. We're trying to build trust and make sure that you know that we're going to always be quali supplying good quality products that you want, that you need, and a really good value. John Lewis, they've been doing it for years. That's a brand that you know, that you trust, and you always use. We've got exactly the same product, and because we're a new channel, we're able to do it at a slightly cheaper rate because people want to be having us doing their products on the show to prove to you that we've got really amazing stuff. So I am apps. I love this. I think that's really, really cute. We always need a small pair of scissors cutting threads, doing EPP. If you are going on a, tr on a plane or going on a journey overseas, as far as I'm aware, this is much is small enough for you to take on a plane. Um, I've got a ruler here. So, oh, I've got my tape measure from my lovely little basket. I'm just going to measure this. And then you can just double check with the airline that you can use them. Um, and that is 1.25 inches. You can see there from because the way they measure it is from the tip of the cam uh, tip of the scissors up to where the join is, the little nut there. And you can see that's 1.25, or it's three centimeters. It's less than three centimeters. And the great thing with this tape, you've got the metric and imperial, and it's a 60 inch tape as well. Can't go wrong with that. How are we doing on the little box? Is that almost gone? Oh, little box is sold out. This is the last one. Do you think they'll miss it? They're telling me they will. Being on telly and doing these things is silly. Shouldn't do that, should I? It's so cute though. But don't worry, I'll try and see if they can get it back in. We'll see how we go. But of course, having the little baby scissors, I need to go on to, I need to go on to a product that I have myself. I use in my studio virtually every day. And it's one of, in my opinion, one of the leading brands of scissors that you can buy. And it's a Fiskars Shears. Really, really, really lovely pair of scissors. It's right-handed scissors, these. We are looking at getting left-handed ones, but they are just so, they fit your fingers so beautifully. And you don't have to trust me on this. We have sold hundreds of these, hundreds of them. We still have more left because we've been given an amazing opportunity to bring this to you by Fiskars. But my favorite thing about it, you've got a nice plastic cover. You're always gonna be safe. Got, if you've got children around, it's unlikely that they're going to be able to get hold of the scissors. But if they do, they're protected that way. They're safe in your sewing bag. They're not going to go through. Oh, I just love these. I think. Well, and I've I had them. I've had them for five or six years before I even came on the show because they're the leading brand in my opinion, the ones that I certainly use. And for nine pounds ninety nine on these, you just need to look at the reviews that we've had on them on the website. You'll be able to see um, sewingstreet.com. You'll go on there and you'll see that there are reviews by people like yourself looking at buying the product. Just go on there and you'll be able to see what people have said. But it's great because we've got the, all this interaction from everybody. It's fantastic because you're able to then, we know what you're feeling. We know what you're thinking about things. Um, if there are any feedback that you'd like to give, everything we take on board and see we can do and improve your experience. And we're able to then also see what you're looking for and what's possibly we can bring in next. Because luckily, being a new channel, we're able to potentially change things and do things slightly differently and to bring what's needed and wanted and, yeah, going forward from that. So somebody from Scotland, did you say it was Sue? Sue. Hi, Sue. Susan, sorry. I don't know whether I can abbreviate it. Susan says she's enjoying watching John today. That's very kind. He's such a natural. I'm very nervous, but I'm trying my best. Thank you. You're very kind. So we've also got another message in from Rosemary. She's saying, welcome, John. Thank you for a lovely show. You're very kind. Looking forward to watching me more. That's very kind. So, yes, yeah, so some of you may not know who I am. Um, I started quilting about six years ago. Um, and I haven't been doing it for very long, but what I lack in talent, I certainly make up for in enthusiasm. And I absolutely am addicted to all things fabric. And my husband has this horrible uh, image of me constantly going into stores and buying bolts of fabric where most people should be buying fat quarters. But if I love it, it's coming home with me. Um, so we had, um, we had this all in our home. And 
and <laughs> we lived a little bit like an episode of Hoarders, so I then sort of sensitively got pushed out the house into a studio down the road from where we live, and I have an amazing long arm quilter, so I'm able to do people's quilts, and I've got all the fabric in one place, and I've got all my projects in one place, and it's just wonderful. It's absolutely amazing. But for me, the most amazing thing about quilting and sewing and crafting is the community. I'm very, very lucky to be able to spend my, luckily every week, with some of the most incredible women that you can meet. And they're all in their 60s and 70s. And the joy and fun that we had, we were together yesterday, sewing the whole day and gossiping and laughing and drinking far too much tea. There might have been a gin or tonic at lunchtime. I can't confirm or deny that rumor. <laughs> but we're all a close-knit group. No one will ever know. But the great thing is, is what I've been able to do now coming to Sewing Street is to be able to interact and engage with more quilters and expand that community and be able to share my love for all of this and the fabrics and everything with all of you. And also to be able to get there to see what you're doing and what you're making. And the, but you, you are so talented. And I looked at, I, had a, I saw one of the posts online a couple of days ago and somebody had put on there and said, oh, but it's terrible, which we all do because we all think one point makes a quilt ugly. But the, you're so talented and it doesn't matter as long as you keep enjoying it your work is so much more beautiful than you think it is so keep doing it but make sure you get really lovely fabrics that your husbands might be a little cross with you but not really that cross with you <laughs> <clears throat> so I think we're now going to move on to another fat court one I think this one so yes Yes. So, sorry, Hannah was talking in my ear yet. I haven't quite mastered this talk back thing yet. Bear with me. If I go quiet, I'm normally listening. So, these fabrics here, I just, these are really cute. And what it is, is sometimes you don't want a really blah, loud, screamy fabric. You want something really muted and really, but really beautiful. And this is so cute. I absolutely love this. This is the Plum Garden collection. Um, we've got the, nope, that's not it. The label has gone missing, but don't worry. But there you go, so you can see how cute is that. I feel like I'm getting these the wrong way round, so don't move, there we go, I'll do that. There you go. Oh, it, Paul's very kind, he says I didn't want to say. <laughs> exactly, but you can see these are really cute flowers, and oh, they're just so sweet, and these ones, $16.99 for five pieces of this. That's brilliant. So this one, if you are having problems on the website, in the screen at the moment on the graphics, you'll be able to see the code of Oscar Uniform Zulu Whiskey 74. So it's, I know most people don't know the acronyms, but it's that way is because the, the thick South African accent is quite hard for some people. But that way it's in your screen at the moment. So there shouldn't be any, be any more problems on the website because they think they fixed it all. But if there is, have a little look and you can see the codes in the corner there. And if you haven't been able to watch the show and you do miss it, don't worry. You can catch it on YouTube and you can get it caught up. If you think later in the day you haven't got it, you've got the code there later in the day. But look at the little duckies. It's so cute. But what's really good is they've got that solid blue line in it, which gives you the symmetry on it. I love it. Paul's just quacking in my ear. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's such a lovely family here. It's so wonderful. Oh, I'm just looking there. That matches my top really well. <laughs> I'm looking at ideas and trying to accessorize my husband's shirts. <laughs> oh, we've had a question in, yes. From Juanita. Hello, Juanita. She's saying, good morning, John. Will you be sewing when you're on the show? Well, if you tune in tomorrow, I am bringing one of my designs and one of my patterns for an enormous quilt, which is so easy to make, you will be astonished. So if you tune in tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., you'll be able to see me doing some sewing demonstrations. And I think they're actually gonna let me have a play on the new Elna sewing machine that they've got, which I saw Jane Brogan demonstrate a couple of weeks ago. At the very beginning, I was sitting there clapping my hands at home. So I'm gonna have to talk really nicely to Hannah and see if she'll let me play with the machine. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, she's saying she might let me, but I think I've got to bring her a bacon butty when I come in in the morning, so that's all right too. 
look how distracted I get. But yes, I'm really hoping to be able to bring you different sewing techniques and different patterns that I've designed and things that other people have designed to make sure that we can show that I do know what I'm sewing and I do know what I'm doing. But please don't judge my points, they're terrible. <laughs> But of course, as a quilter, you know I'm going to point out all the errors on it, as we all do. This works terrible, because look, one point is out. But isn't this range really, really cute? I'm not doing it the same way as I did before. I'm going to just do this very quickly now. Give me two seconds. Perfect. So I've just had Hannah tell me, because I did ask her to tell me how we were doing on the charm pack, and we're down to single figures. So we are down to single figures on this amazing Tilda charm pack. It's called the Happy Camper charm pack from the 2020 collection. And you, I'm sure you'll all remember seeing all of these. Just one thing, just remember that if you haven't checked out and it is in your basket, it's still not yours. So if you, if you are in love with this fabric and you don't want to lose it, make sure you do check out. And remember, you can check out as many times as you like during the day. Only one PNP, three ninety-five for the day, not three ninety-nine like I was trying to charge you earlier. But you just keep going through that, and you can buy as many times as you like during the day. And this one is just a really beautiful, lovely, subtle colour. It's just calming and just so cute. And again, just remember, as I've been showing you these colours, the colours that you've seen in the camera, like the colour of camera you are seeing now, these are the colours that you're going to get. So the overhead seems to be having a little bit of a moment, and it's not quite showing you the same colour way, but it gives you an idea of exactly how they blend in together. But if you do want to double check the colour ways, just make sure you go back and watch it, and you can see it on YouTube, uh, www.sewingstreet.com, and you can watch it from there, otherwise, on YouTube itself, Sewing Street is the channel. And then you can see how they all go together and how beautifully, but look at the little ducks. I'm sorry, I get very excited. Look at the cute little ducks. Even on their side, they look cute. So my, I absolutely love quilting pins. Well, they say quilting pins, sewing pins. They call them quilting pins fine, but these are, can I open these, Hannah? Yeah. Oh, I can. So we're going to show you these first before I rip open the packaging. Oh, there we go. So again, if you do need the code, it's on the top there. And these are all glass tipped pins. Now my friend Sandra, who I sew with every week, she uses these and they've kitty proofed them for me. That'll be Hannah. She loves doing this for me because it's the funny faces that I pull when I try and do them. It's like me trying to match the points of a half square triangle. Oh, I'm so excited to show you what I'm doing tomorrow. Am I allowed to talk about it yet? No, am I? Oh no, we're gonna do a bit of a teaser. If you follow us on the Instagram, the Instagram, look at me, I'm so old, I call it the Instagram. <laughs> if you follow us on Instagram, I'm doing the stories today, so maybe I can pop a little sneak picture on later on to show you what I'm doing. So that's a little bit of a teaser for you. And then you'll be in the know now, each time I open a pack of pins like this, I normally drop them all over the floor. But look at that! So these, what is so good about these is, so you can see these are quite long. Um, is there a size on these? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my trusty tape measure from the sold out product, sorry. So these are one and seven eighths, one inch and seven eighths, but they're really lovely and long. And the great thing is, is for what I'm doing tomorrow, you'll be able to see, because I'm not a pinner, but I will say that when I did do the TV show for um, 
Channel 5, I did use pins, mainly because one of my dear friends, Angie, she's a little bit of a pin person in a very big, big way. And she sat over me and said, pin it, pin it, pin it. And she is right, you do get much better points with pinning, but I'm very lazy. And then I drop a pin and then stand on it three weeks later and forget about it, which where it comes very handy where you have a little pin cushion on it. But these are really good because what you do is you've got the greens on one side and the browns on the other, and then you sew from top to bottom on the green. Uh, I'm doing really well here. <laughs> there we go. So I'm being, getting, I'm being put through my paces on this as well. So the great thing is, is that you can then, if you're doing one, one, or sewing one, one way and one the other way, you just put the one color pin on the one side and the other on the other. And the great thing with these, now I'm not a huge fan of sewing over pins. I'm always terrified of injuries. I'm a health and safety nut. But if you do, these are incredibly fine and you are allegedly able to sew over them. I don't recommend it because it's always that one time where the needle mis mishaps and it goes all wrong and messes up your machine. But if you are going to do it, the great, well, the other good thing about this is you can leave the pins in. I don't recommend sewing over them, but what I do is I stop my machine mm, quarter of an inch beforehand and by then the pin is under the foot so you can pull these out really easily and put them back in the box and you just keep sewing and because your foot has got the fabric underneath it it doesn't move and the pins are so fine because you know when you pull a pin out sometimes the fabric moves with this you don't and it, these are now $7.99 all day there are a hundred in the box and I have they're made by Clover and I use Clover all the time with my products and I absolutely love these and I've I actually, don't tell Sandra, but I borrowed seven of hers yesterday. They're still in my bag, but there we go. But I promise I will give them back, Sandra, I promise. I'm not putting those back in the box, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just too much for me today. So the other thing we have now, where are we going to go next? So these are brand new in. I think they've been on once before, but they're new to me. And the great thing with the, oh, these are lovely. Oh, there's six in here. And this is the Classics Basic Collection by Tilda. They're kiddie proof, so bear with me. So while we're waiting for this, the product code on this is Bravo Uniform Zulu Whiskey 62. So here, all oh, these are beautiful. I love a bluey green. Absolutely love them. Doesn't that look like the top of a thimble? You know those old metal thimbles that you get? Oh, flicking it. Doesn't that look like the top of a thimble? It's just really, really cute. And the great thing with this, it's got such a beautiful, creamy background. It doesn't matter whether you're using Tilda or using another product. These will all go really well together. I don't want to call them a blender because they're such good quality. But gosh, they just blend so beautifully. And these are, Hannah, are you doing these prices right? Look at that, $18.99 for six pieces. I'm telling you, she's going to get into trouble with these. Oh, are these, oh, we're very, very limited edition on these. are about to sell out. We've already sold out on one product being the, um, what are we calling that little hamper thingy? My little basket. Did you hear what I said there, Hannah? My little basket. Did you see that? It's all mine. Oh, security apparently are aware I can't get out the building with my little basket. Well, apparently I'm being told I mustn't unfold all of these because they're about to be gone. If you like them and you like the colors, what I'll do is I'll just do this very quickly, just in case. These are the other three that are in the range. The stars are, oh, wrong one. The stars are so cute as well. <laughs> oh gosh, I will improve, I promise. I will practice at home. <laughs> But yes, we're on very, very limited stock on this one. So if you are interested, make sure you check out your basket because we don't want you to lose out. Because all of these fabrics, you know what it's like. You see it, you love it, and it's gone. Oh, can I do this one next? Is this, have we done this one? Oh, it's a different colorway. Oh, oh, 
you had me at hello. Sorry. So earlier I did these in lavender. I did this one in the lavender. It's this, that was why I was getting confused because I'm like, I've seen that fabric. Oh, but look at this in the slightly more orange color. Now again, these are not able to be reordered. These are one-offs. So if you like them, make sure you pop these in your basket. But look how cute that is. And you're getting five fat quarters here for $14.99. So that's two and a quarter meters? One and a quarter meters. Because five quarters is one and a quarter meters. Just double checking. Um, so one and a quarter meters of fabric. Look at that one. See, I absolutely love that in the purple, but I am besotted of it in this. Oh, gosh, that's beautiful. What color are we calling this, Hannah? Oh, coral. Sorry, as I asked that, I saw it on the little label, if I'd learnt to read. The, cor the coral. Oh, hello. This is definitely... See, this is annoying. I didn't do any of this beforehand. I should have bought before I went on the show. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love these. I'm just wondering if I can get Hannah to open my account and start ordering for me. I'm going to have to go after this and get my phone out and, oh, look at that. You see, I loved it in the purple, but this coral is beautiful. Andrew, darling, I'm using my allowance. I'm buying this one. Luckily, he's on a plane at the moment, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is beautiful. And the great thing is, is I love coordinates. So if you did want to do this range, you might want to consider doing both. If I could fold this as well, unfold this as well as I folded it. If you did want to consider doing both, you can see... Now watch me able to, oh, I am going to be able to do it. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just unfolding the purple and the coral together so you can see how beautiful they go, how beautifully they go together. Because you can see over here the oranges and they just blend so beautifully. But that's the great thing with Tilda is that one product goes so well with another all through the range. They're just beautiful. Oh, I'm loving these. So both of these fat quarter bundles are $14.99 and the coral one is the graphics that you've got on screen at the moment and then the lavender one, was it lilac or lavender? Oh, two seconds. Oh, here it is. I've got it here. So this is the lilac one and this product code is Lima Zulu Zulu Whiskey 5.9. And it's underneath, if you go on the website, it's all on there. And I'm 99% sure it's all fine. But these two together just go so beautifully. And for th less than 30 pounds for two and a half meters of fabric, which just coordinates so beautifully. Well, yes. I wonder how big security is. Do you think I could take them? I'm not sure I could. Not sure I could. Oh, but they're so pretty. So now we're going to just, I'm going to just show you look at you. I have absolutely, look how cute he is. This absolutely blissfully happy, beautiful little sloth. And you've got all the thread here. Oh, it's just so, I'm sure that's a thimble, but it's not. It's a little party hat. You've got the button here, the de another little button there. The detailing it on is so pretty. And then it's a sewing box. We all love a sewing box. Is this beautiful little thing and it's all see-through. So what I do do, one of my favorite things, I, my husband is addicted to boxes. So I thought, oh, well, that's something at least I can, you know, get permission for. So what I do is I have a box for every project. And each project, because this one's great because it's see-through. You can see straight into it. Because I don't like having little labels on the outside to say UFO 497. So the great thing is, is with these, you know roughly what's in what box. So you can just open it and see it in. But what I do with this is it's a beautiful size. So you can fold the pattern. You can put the pattern the bottom you can put the threads at the top that you're using any buttons or notions that you're using with it all the fabric underneath and nine times out of ten the project you're working on fits into a box this size so for me I use these as storage and then of course you've got the second one you've got this 
And of course, I do a lot of sewing away from my studio and away from home. And these books are, I call them a book. It's sort of like a mini book bag because you can hold them and they've got beautiful handles. It's, it, um, it's got this lovely little section here to, little flap there with a bit of Velcro that holds it nice and tight. You've got this gorgeously big ironing board. Got the cutting mat as well, which is in both centimeters and inches. So you can see, and I'm using my trusty pair of scissors with this gorgeous little leopard thing on the end as well. You can see here, so we've got the centimeters over here, and we've got the inches over here. So you've got, the great thing there is, some patterns are in centimeters, so you can see the centimeters are there, and then you've got the inches over here. And the great thing of having that on one board, because often the board is one size inches, the other size centimeters, having them on one board, you can then look at that and if you need it, it's there. Now I'm about to have a little sip of water because I'm about to cough, bear with. <coughs> Now I love the big one because every time you go and do a sewing day or go anywhere you're always waiting for the iron and you, you just this is so lovely but I fell in love with this. This was actually when I did my my, de my um, interview I, I demoed this and I was clutching it and go I just am besotted with this. So this one is now back in stock because it's sold out before. And you can see it's a little bit smaller than the one before, underneath it. But I think this one's much cuter because I'm going to get rid of the other one, the big one. I'm going to pop that over there. And while I'm on it, don't forget there is a sewing box to match. There's like a whole kit. You can buy all of it because I like everything that's coordinated. Lovely see-through thing as well. And just check the website for that because it's such a lovely product. This is now was out of stock. Now it's back in stock. And the great thing with this, which I love, is often when I'm doing a pattern design, I'm always looking, oh, helps I press it properly. I'm always looking to put different things on a little mini design wall. The only reason that's falling off is because I'm letting go. I'm doing it backwards, upside down. It's like foundation paper piecing all gone wrong. And the great thing with this is that then you can put that there, not breathe on it like I am, it's like a mini cave design wall. And then you can go and stand across the room and say, does that color go? Is that color sticking? Because I've stuck too big a piece on it. Oh, I'm doing really well with this today, aren't I? Gosh. Live television. Hopefully you won't be doing it like that and being... But you can see that... Don't breathe. Because <laughs> the one I, I did actually buy one of these, and the great thing is you can stick pieces on it, go and stand on the other end of the room, and you can see whether it works. Because we all do that. We do colors, not sure whether it's going to go. And this has got your cutting mat. If you fold this in half, you've got a small ironing board. Otherwise, if you need a big one, you've got a big ironing board. And this is the same size as the big ironing board on the other one, but you've got loads of other bits with it. And if you're, doing FP, if you're doing English paper piecing and you like to fussy cut, you've got a um, piece of sandpaper here where you can put your fabric on. Let's do this one where we were going to fussy cut. And that one, it doesn't move. And then you can go and trace out the area you like using one of your pens. And then you can cut it out on the mat over there. So it's a really lovely, lovely product. So I'm just going to show you the website if we... So, oh, hang on. Sorry, I forgot the code for the password. So at the moment, literally, as we went on, to, on air this morning, we got these stock available, which is why I've left it to the end, because I just had to double check that it was in. So the very best way of doing this is if you go onto the sewing, sewingstreet.com and there's a search bar. I'm going to tap in the search bar. So at the top there, there's a little sort of magnifying glass there. You just tap in there. And you're going to type in B for Bravo, Y for Yankee, Z for Zulu, W for Whiskey, the number one, and the number eight, and fingers crossed on live television. Voila. It's as if it's by magic. And all you do then is you add it into your basket. Hang on. Why can't I put my account on here and check out while we're on air? 
Oh, I like that. I, oh gosh, what have I done? Uh, brilliant. So just add it into your basket. And remember, if you haven't checked out, it's not yours yet. So the postage, remember, you can order now and then later in the day. It's $3.95 for the whole day. I need to thank each and every one of you for your amazing and wonderful comments. You've all been so welcoming and so kind. Thank you. And it's just lovely to see all the things you're doing and the projects you're working on. So I hope you carry on doing that because I really look forward to it. I hope you, you can join me tomorrow because it's a really, really exciting project, one that I'm very passionate about. And what's great is it's a nice, very well-priced product, especially for people who've never made a quilt before. You're wanting to try something for the first time that's new and it's not so expensive that you're not going to cut into the fabric. It's a project that you'll do, you'll love, and hopefully you'll be able to join me tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to see me doing it and demonstrating it. The charm packs, have we sold out now? Very, very few left of these. So I don't want people to be disappointed. Remember, if you haven't checked out, I'm, I'm hoping that you don't all check it out because I'm about to go and buy three or four of these because they're so beautiful. Oh, Hannah's telling me I'm not gonna be able to because there's not enough stock, but that's wonderful. Enjoy the products that you've bought. It's been so lovely having your time today. Reminder of the customer care number if you need it. It's 0800 001 4433. It's a UK based care, uh, customer care center. So if you have any questions, have anything to ask, you're most welcome to call in. The website, Next that's coming on today is Vix from yesterday at this time, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.